UDOT now making moves to take the final section of Bangor Highway that still has traffic lights and turn it into a freeway. It's been their vision for over a decade now, and it could still take many years until that dream is a reality. Tonight, project planners tried to answer homeowners many questions. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser is live now to explain some of their biggest worries. Emily, what were they saying tonight? Kelly, the project manager says public input is critical so that the proposed design meets the needs of as many people as possible. But in response to neighbors' concerns, she was adamant this design and this project will go through. Bangor Highway is known for its busyness and congestion. But imagine sitting at the stoplight four times longer than you normally do. If we don't do anything by 2050, we're going to see more than double the vehicles we currently see in the section of Bangor Highway. That's why UDOT wants to take intersections between 4100 South and California Avenue, get rid of the stoplights and convert it like a freeway. If we do it one interchange at a time, like we have on the other Bangor projects, it'll be pretty similar to those. Um, a lot of those have been taking a year and a half to two years to finish construction. Project planners say construction would start three years from now, but work is slated to start at these four locations within the next year. Unfortunately, we do not know where we're starting yet um, because we only have a third of the funding. During we Monday night's public hearing over Zoom, a majority of the participants were less concerned about cars but the nearby properties. Would the city buy their homes and businesses from them? Could this change the value of their home before and after construction? It's hard to right now with the lines being not quite so precise for us to determine that aspect of it. But we will look at it with the homeowners as we negotiate. Despite a lot of unanswered questions, UDOT has already removed stoplights for 10 intersections since 2012 they don't plan to stop. It's just a matter of timing when the funding will be available. But yes, because we already partially funded, um, it, it will go through. According to UDOT's projections, when this freeway conversion is complete and the stoplights are out, the drive time on Bangor Highway from I-15 and Draper all the way to the Salt Lake City International Airport will be reduced up to 20 minutes. Now there will be two more in-person open houses this Wednesday and this Thursday at 6 o'clock at Granger High School. Reporting live near Bangor Highway, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.